is your shoulder pain mechanical, neurological, or chemical? I talk about the sock, stock, shoe, and jock of the week. So you've got a sore shoulder. Can we attribute that to it being a mechanical soreness from your shoulder mechanics? Can it be neurological? Can it be chemical? Actually, it's probably all of those three, but this study showed that it's actually most of people's shoulder pain is actually chemical, being an inflammatory response because you're just doing too much maybe with your shoulder or you just don't have the right balance about doing too much too little you just keep aggravating it most people or practitioners over the years therapists me included have thought it was more of a mechanical issue so we've been trying to tell you to pull your shoulders down and back and make sure you have you know right mechanical movement and we've been trying to fix that but we haven't actually been over time downgrading the inflammatory response the chemical response and focusing on that a little bit more than just the mechanical movement of your shoulder. Sure, the mechanics are fine and maybe the mechanics got you there in the first place, but probably the mechanics aren't gonna get you out initially. It's probably a downgrading of the chemical response, the inflammation of your shoulder. What about the neurology of your shoulder, the nerves? The shoulder is one of the only joints that's almost 100% controlled by the nervous system. I.e. if you cut all the nerves to your knee or your ankle, you'll still get knee flexion. You'll still be able to move the knee. You'll still be able to move the knee, uh, the ankle. But if you cut the nerves to the shoulder, basically your shoulder will dislocate and you'll have no movement. Nerves are important, of course. But in terms of pain, we're looking at actually the chemical response. How do you downgrade that chemical response? Well, you actually uh, try and use things like gentle movement, so it's not too sore. Uh, Anti-inflammatories are okay as well. Hot packs, hot is okay for an inflammation process, by the way. Cold packs and just, you know what, it's just time. Time will heal if you keep moving that shoulder gently. And if you don't know how to move that shoulder and still get on with your day-to-day -day business, um, then I've got a few, a few ideas for you. There you go. Mechanical, neurological, chemical, mainly chemical. But your shoulder, and, and your shoulder will take six to 24 months to heal. That's a long time. Get that inflammation down, make it feel better. My sock of the week is the I should stance. Uh, love this sock. Look at that up close. It's got the paint splatter on it. It's got the uh, the gray there, and I love the red in it. This sock will really go well with a white pair of shoes, obviously. I have worn them with a black pair of shoes, and I got a bit of curry. I've got a bit of I got a bit of uh, distaste over that, but uh, you know. That's how things go. Love these white socks. Not enough white socks uh, in my collection of stance socks. Yes. Stock of the week is Mineral Resources Limited. Now this is a mining company, but that is right. Mining company that mainly um, is involved in mining iron ore and lithium. Okay, so you know, it's a mining company, right? But what, what is interesting is that I always pick this company when I play the ASX stock game. Uh, yeah, stock game, share market game, which is about to start again in a week or two. And a, and a client and myself, we play this game. We've been playing it for a couple of years now. And uh, this is one of the stocks that I always pick. And it always, it, well, it's done well in the last two years. So maybe that's a bit of a sign that I should actually pick it in my real life portfolio but we'll see my shoe of the week is the Sorconi 6000 shadow pineapple and I know what you're saying Sorconi Dan what are you doing here is the box uh, size 9 as per usual and we are going to have a look at these Wow! 
I was attracted to these shoes because they are green. I love a, a good green shoe. Let's look at them up close. There goes one. And here's the other. One shoe. How nice are these? Zoom in on that pineapple, get me out of the picture. Anyway, there we have it. Uh, they're called the pineapple because they're made of pineapple husks, believe it or not. Yeah, made out of pineapple husks. Very interesting shoe. Never worn a Sorconi before and probably never will wear a Sorconi again, only because they are not very comfortable. Really, uh, really quite hard. Um, underfoot, not much give. I'm used to a little bit more give in a shoe. But I'll wear them occasionally. I still, I still like the look of them, but not my favorite shoe to wear, unfortunately. I like the green. My jock of the week is Lauren Jackson. She was having a sort of a tribute game, I suppose, last week. And unfortunately, she injured her Achilles, I think, in the first 90 seconds, something like that. But she's been uh, Australia's best women's basketball player for many years. Obviously played in Canberra for many years as well. Um, so she is my jock of the week and we wish her all the best with her leg injury. And um, I reckon more than likely she'll come back after her injury. I, I think she can't stay away. Thanks for listening. We'll uh, talk soon. Bye.